that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do the cider review, the strawberry cider review of Doom. And we've got Brewmaster Ben's offering here, and we've got Uncle Jonah's explosive motherfucker. Well, first thing we can see is that this one is a lot lighter than this one. He used um, the juice drink, I believe, and I used the juice uh, concentrate by Ribena. Um, so that's the first thing. Second thing is, mine's a lot stronger. This is about 12%, I reckon, it's wine strength. This one's six and a half. Second thing is, mine explodes, and his doesn't. <laughs> so that's why this one's on this side. I've had it in the fridge. I've had it in the freezer, actually. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, it'll be all right. Ben, we've cracked it, mate. Look at that. We've cracked it. We have bubbles too. I am so surprised that that didn't explode. Nice one. Look at that. That looks proper, actually, doesn't it? That looks pretty good. Bit of a head on there. Not too bad. Let's go for Ben's. Nowhere as fizzy as mine. Bit of smoke though. Smelling good. Oh, good man, you've carbonated it very, very strongly. I did, I did mine by accident, to be honest, mate. I have to say. There we go, look. To be honest, mine's a bit more carbonated than yours, Ben. Um, strange that, considering it exploded the other day. Um, let's get to the tasting. I've tasted this one. This one, I haven't. Let's have a go. Pretty fizzy, like a champagne. We've got a subtle strawberry flavour. And the apples as well. I can definitely taste the apples in that one. Very nice though. I like him. Let's try against this one. Mine's a lot stronger um, taste. Strawberry taste. Not so much on the apples. Very fizzy. Quite sweet as well. Quite sweet. I think the yeast probably gave out on that one because it's quite strong. I did use a wine yeast on that one, so you've got a bit of residual sweetness, both from the apples and from um, from the strawberry concentrate. But both very very nice drinks. This one's a bit more bitter, slightly more um, strawberry bitterness than this one, even though it's a little bit sweeter. That doesn't make sense, does it? Both of them quite carbonated like a champagne. Might have used the champagne yeast in there, might have been might have helped it out a bit. Ben, you've done very well. You have done very well. Um, they're totally different, I have to say, from the same idea, they're both totally different drinks. If you're going traditional cider, straight cider, Ben's has probably got more of that cider taste to it. It's a cider with strawberries, um, like a, a Copperberg or you know something like that, Ricolig, all those kind of ones. My one is like a wine. It's like a red wine, a strawberry country wine. How about that? Because um, you don't get that much of the apple taste in there. Don't you just hate it when your video camera runs out of memory? Well, let's go back to the review. So, yeah, in conclusion, both very nice, both totally different drinks. Um, if you're going for a pure cider, this one's probably your man because you've still got that residual apple taste. Mm. It's gorgeous though, with a hint of um, hint of the strawberry. Or if you go for a wine strength like this bad boy, look at that, still got a head on it, head retention in a cider, very good. <laughs>
you, only a couple bottles will explode. Um, you've got this one, different way of doing it, using a concentrate. Very full on, very in, the, um, in your face, very bitter. If I was going to do mine again, I'd uh, back down on the old uh, juice, the old concentrate, because that's a bit over the top, I have to say. Um, over the top of the house, if you saw my other video. Anyway, guys, you're leaving me double fisted. Uh, again, yet again. Um, I've got to drink my one, really, because it's mine. But Ben, you've done very well. I like that too.